everybody it's Diane from Tattered Edges Design once again I'm making a collage today um this is poster board I don't know I didn't measure it it's somewhere around nine inches I imagine yeah nine <laughs> by nine and almost a half it just was a scrap I don't know if I call this a scrap but, you know an off cut I had from something else so I grabbed that our main image here is I'll give you a minute I bet nobody knows who that is. It's Theda Barra. She was a famous silent screen star in her day. More in the 19-teens even. She goes, she goes back away. Anyway, I cut a bunch of components. So let's see how we want it together here. And I started for I started with this just because I like the color. And, you know, it has nothing to do with knitting or crocheting or anything, but I like the color. So I just grabbed that, and that, then that led to these other colors. They're balloons. They were in the background of some ad. I thought that looked kind of nice. And now I don't know what year that picture is actually from. It's kind of neat. It's a Christmas supposed to take the old aluminum pie well I guess they still make those don't they anyway an aluminum pie pan and then decorate it with glitter and braid and stuff for Christmas yeah amazing what you can come up with this is, you might guess what that is it's an apron I thought the pattern you know she looks sort of I think with that scarf head wrap hat whatever it is headgear there a little bohemian gypsy really and I don't know I don't know either yeah I, should, I don't know anything today about her I know a little about her but I don't that's from a movie specifically I don't know I grabbed some tech stuff just to sort of fill in maybe and then color stuff for the same thing. Fill in. This is a rug, or was a rug. I almost thought that could be like a, you know, put a, a word or something like that. Um, and I was thinking of that as I was flipping through the magazine, and I couldn't come up with a word. I got stardust. I don't know. Is that? Let's trim that a little. She does look a little, I don't know, you know, ethereal there, the way that's shot. I don't know. Is that, you know, is it what? <laughs> Acceptable, I guess I'm trying to say. And I'm not trying to convey any certain message with her or anything. I'm just making a pleasing picture to me, to my mind anyway. No, oh, actually, that's kind of cool. And then this is jewelry, as you might imagine. I think that would work somewhere. I don't know this this one I hope it's almost too small it's a little yeah if I put it with it it's okay I think off by itself it's going to look too floating away well what do you think starting point need some more text or not and I was thinking too depending on how I piece this how I like it when it's done maybe I won't even paint or anything maybe it's just a collage I don't know. Well, I think that's pretty good for starts. I guess I'll glue it. Yeah, I'm thinking. Okay, I, you know, I don't know. I might tweak a little as I glue, but I think that's pretty good. Okay, I will come back after it's glued. Okay, I'm back. It's glued. Um, it's a little different. 
than I left you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what can I say? Yeah, the balloons are upside down, Diane. This time I knew that. I did that intentionally because if you turn it around, this rusty color balloon is right on this and it, it looked dumb. So I turned it upside down. Big deal. This circular decoration thing I split because just all down here, you know, that's kind of a big thing. It was okay, but I just, you know, once I went to glue it, I didn't like it so much. So I split it and then put half up here. I forget now if I had the title here or here, but it wound up here. And then that little jewel thing, jewelry, I put down with that. And I think that's okay by itself there. And then I added a couple, this you didn't see. I added a couple strips of color, if you can imagine it without. Um, I just thought it needed it. And yeah, I didn't point out, Theta is off the internet on a little better paper. I think it's 28 pound. And all the rest is mag old magazine paper. Okay. Um, it, as I say, you know, I've said 101 times, that could be done. I'm actually fairly pleased with it. If I was really just going to leave it as is, I might paint the white a little bit because none of this is white. You know, she's sepia. The white, white text is aged, so it's not white, white. If you compare it to a, this is a newer magazine. It's, it's not white. Hell. So I think I would just go in with a off-white, a real pale gold. But my thought was, and I hope nobody goes, oh no, of just messy stitching, like kind of all around. I thought that might be kind of fun. And like a red, a gold. So that's what I think I'm going to do. So cross your fingers that I don't come back and go, well, I ruined it because I can't repeat any of this stuff other than her. So, okay, guys, hold your breath, cross your fingers. I'll be back. Okay, as that little clip might have suggested to you, I had all kinds of trouble with my sewing machine, which should have taken me about 10 minutes. It took, well, altogether, um, I don't know, 40 minutes because I got so aggravated I walked away and washed dishes and took out garbage and stuff. <laughs> Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Anyway, here it is. I think it's done. I did do a lot of sewing there. That's the most I've ever put on a collage. I think it's pretty cool. Um, you know, if I, if I was just going to, I knew I was just going to leave it like this forever, I might edge, you know, uh, you know ink the edges even round the corners would be kind of cool. But to me, this is a, you know, an art piece of picture. I doubt I would. I might. Someone 100 years from now might want to frame it. I don't know. Um, mat it. So I'm not doing that. And I left a little room for that type of thing. So there we go, folks. I know I didn't really end up doing so much on camera. It was more off. But here it is, another, I guess you call it mixed media because of the sewing, the lovely Theta Barra. So thanks for joining me and have a very nice day out there.